Hello everyone, my name is Grace Wells and today I will present be presenting my slides from my group's climate change presentation that I missed today. To begin, I'd like to start with the history of climate change. According to NASA.com in 2024, in 1896, a paper written by Swedish scientist Svant Arnius first predicted that changes in atmospheric carbon dioxide levels could substantially alter the surface temperature through the greenhouse effect. The earliest signs of greenhouse gases began warming the oceans in the early 1800s. In the 1820s, French mathematician Joseph Fourier proposed the greenhouse effect. Today, this is the, known as the idea that the Earth's atmosphere serves as a glass ceiling or a glass barrier that traps in all of the heat that comes in. It comes in and it can't come out. In 1989, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change was established under the United Nations to provide a scientific view of climate change and its political and economic impacts. And under the Obama administration, the United States signed on to the Paris Climate Agreement in 2015. This agreement held that 197 countries would set goals for greenhouse gas cuts and progress greenhouse gas cuts and progress reports. Next, I would like to talk about effects on the environment. Um, climate change and greenhouse gases affect more than just people. They affect all aspects of the environment. To begin, they affect plants. Plants can be affected by climate change because climate change causes natural disasters or weather emergencies such as droughts where there's not enough water or rain. Wildfires same thing, there's not enough water or rain and extreme temperatures, and pest infestations. Climate change affects animals because climate change causes dehabita dehabitation, which is where animals are losing their homes, overexploitation, and disease. And it, climate change even affects humans, even if we don't feel it or see it right away, it's affecting us over time. Climate change affects humans through poverty and displacement, polluting our food, water, and air supplies, bad weather, and by causing respiratory and heart diseases because of contaminated food, water, and air. Now I'd like to talk about which areas are most affected. Areas most affected by climate change are countries that are considered fragile and conflict affected. The top 10 countries affected by climate change are as follows. Chad, Somalia, Syria, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Afghanistan, South Sudan, Central African Republic, Nigeria, Ethiopia, and Bangladesh. Seven out of these 10 countries were, are located in Africa, and Africa is historically an area that is known for being heavily affected by climate change. And why is this area affected by climate change? Many reasons, many including drought, famine, flooding, diseases, contaminated water. I know what you're thinking, drought and, drought and flooding both being causes? Well, in some areas, there can be extreme drought with absolutely no water for days, months, and years, but in other areas, there can be three to seven days just straight flooding, wiping out ecosystems, killing people, destroying homes. It's, there's really no betw in between. Now I'd like to discuss who is most affected by climate change. Everybody is vulnerable to climate change because it's constantly changing and evolving and progressing. However, some groups are more vulnerable than others. The first vulnerable group is children. The reason children are most affected is because they have prime opportunity for exposure, biological sensitivities, it can cause poor organ development, and over time can cause mental health issues because of biological sensitivities. And children having the opportunity for exposure just means that children are out and about in a lot and they're interacting with other children, things that are outside, things that can cause and spread disease. The next group that is vulnerable is pregnant women. Pregnant women who are affected by climate change can experience heat waves, extreme events, 
dehydration, and kidney failure, which can not only damage the mother, but also the unborn child. And the last group that is most affected is older adults. They can be affected due to their limited mobility and climate change can interrupt their medical care, which could be potentially deadly. And finally, I'd like to discuss the most common causes of climate change. Greenhouse gases are the main reason for climate change in the Earth's atmosphere. Greenhouse gases include carbon dioxide, methane, and nitrous oxide is the main components of greenhouse gases that damage the atmosphere. Greenhouse gases can be emitted into the Earth's atmosphere through practices such as generating power, like lights, factories, manufacturing goods, again, factories, deforestation, the destroying of entire forests and environments and ecosystems, transportation, producing food, powering buildings, and overconsumption. Thank you.